so vechite mahachal lechum mahachal lechum ra. Maybe by the big day, you know, we said that if, for example, the Persians ate meat a certain way, does that mean that every we have to treat the whole world as eating that? So maybe we go lechum ra. Ba'atani or Shimon Lazar Oimer. Ma'arvin lachoy lep lozaken kedei mizono. Now a sick person or an old person, they don't eat as much food as a regular person, yet you can put the smaller amount for them. <clears throat> now, a person who eats a lot of food, you still have to only put a, a regular meal. We don't follow what the, what the special person does. So you see the halacha follows a certain standard norm. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, kasha. So, in fact, that's a that's a good proof. Freight the Gemara. Miyam Rav Shem Belazar Haki. By the time Rav Shem Belazar Oimer, Og Melech Habashan. So the din is, if a person dies in a house, so the opening that you are destined to take the corpse out of the house becomes tummy. All the other doors remain tohor. So what if Og, the giant, dies in a house? So we have to, Make the opening bigger? Yeah, we, well, yes, you have to take the door that is the biggest, you'll still have to enlarge it. And the question is, why don't we just use the standard door? So we see that Rav Shem Lazar holds that you do treat people differently based on their size. So the Abaya answers, there's no proof from there. Because Hosa Mechi love it. Hadoy me nahadme benavke. What are they going to chop him up and take him out in pieces? There you have no choice, but you have to enlarge the biggest door. So there's no riot from there. Do the Chachamim argue with Rav Shemel Lazar or do they agree with him? Toshma. So I'm Rav Barachan Rav Yechel, Og Melech HaBashan, Kitcho Ba'arba. The, you still only take a regular door and designate it. You don't uh, treat Og Melech HaBashan differently than you would treat any other person. So we see the Chachavim argue. So Hasam, there's no raya from there because the Ika Tzachim Ketanim Tuva the Ika Chad He had many small doors. He had one door that was big. The Vada Ki Karmavich Bahu Karmavich. It's clear that when you enlarge one of the doors to take Og Melech HaBashan out, you would have enlarged the largest door. But that doesn't necessarily prove that the Chacham argue regarding this general principle. Amrav Chia Barabash, Yamrav, Ma'arvin Babasar Chai, you can make an air with steak tartare, with raw meat. Amrav Zimir Bar Chia Ma'arvin Babayt Simchayos. You can even make an air with raw eggs, because there are people who eat these things. Kama Amrav Dach Bayitzchak Achas, one raw egg. Sinai, who is Rav Yosef, Omar, Shtayim. Anoidim in Amaz and Mutar Bamayi. So a person makes a net there that I'm not going to eat anything that is a Muslim that sort of that nourishes or that fills. So Melach Umayim Hudalo Ikri Muslim. So only water and salt are excluded. <laughs> but anything else, any other food, even if it's not grain, will be called mazon. This is going to be a machlokas on Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Shmuel Demer Tavayu. Right from the word mazon. The five grains. Wheat, barley, rice, spelt. Right? I, what about other foods like fruit and meat? So this concept of what's called muslin or not seems to be machlokas. Right? 
We already answered this once. In case of Mavarchim and Brachos, so but this will be another place that is a kasha. Am Ravuna, the Oimer Kolazan Alai. Person says anything that is zan is going to be a nether for me. So water and salt are not zan. Don't nourish. How kolmili zani, but other things. So it's not the it's not a concept of mazon. It's a concept of zan. Other things will be zan. We visited Rav Yechlon the Mechel Peri de Genesar. He lived near Tveria, and there were these beautiful fruits called Peros Genesar. And Kiavinam be Mea, when there was a hundred of us, each one of us would carry ten. So that means we'd have a thousand fruit. Kiavinam be Asara, if there were only ten of us, each one of us would carry a hundred. The hundred, the hundred, a, a clee that held three saw could not hold them because they're big. Rav Yechelen was able to eat. Rav Yechelen was a big guy. He was able to eat all of them. The Amar Shvuasa the Leitam Liziyuna. He would he he made a Shvua that you know I'm still not full. I haven't eaten something that sort of nourishes me, because fruit is not is not like only grain nourishes. So Ema Mizona. Now what he said was Mizona. Lota anti mazo, but zan, other items of food like fruit and meat and fish, are considered zan, and therefore you would be able to use the other foods, not just grain, for your aim. Amar ben Amara, shvush lo oichal kikarzu. Person takes an, a, an oath that I'm not going to eat this loaf of bread. Ma'arvin lo ba, he can lay it down for neighbor. He doesn't have to eat it as long as other people can eat it. It's okay, okay we learned. But kikar zu alai, if he says, when he said, I don't want to eat, so he made a netter on himself. It's a personal thing. But if he said kikar zu alai, if he pointed to the bread, he said, this should be us, sir, so then nobody can eat it. And then therefore, ain't my arvin lo Anoidim in a kikar, if a person makes a neder not to eat bread, ma'arvin lo ba, you can make a neder. My lab, the omer alai, isn't it a case where you said alai, how can you, over there you said before that you can't make a neder. So the Lord says, no, when he says, anoidim in a kikar, the omer zu. Ochadami mistavr, the tani seifa, amos, and when does this apply? I take an oath that I won't taste it. Then you can use it for Nehru, because other people can eat it. So what are you going to tell me? Like you're learning Yachi. Then why did, was the Baraisa constructed the way it was? Immediately the Baraisa moves on and said, if this loaf of bread to me will be like a piece of Hegdish, we say, because it becomes Asr. However, if you're correct, that it, whenever you say a lie, it does the same thing. Lift, lift, log, list, nippity, day. We should have argued right then and there. When are you allowed to make an Eruv when you say Zu? But the Yet the Bryce didn't say that. So a lie, so it's not correct. Amar Lechem, Rabbi Yechlon, 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 Rabbi then you, the way we were a in the ratio would also be problematic. So the Gemara says, you know what, you have to amend the Baraisa. There's some words missing. If a person makes a nether, then I'm not going to eat a loaf of bread. You can make an Eruv for him because other people can eat it. 
even if he said a lie, it's as if he said, I won't taste it. Still, me call Malcolm Kash Ravuna. Ravuna had said that a lie, you can't, you can't make an Eru. So that's Machlok is Tanoim. Who Dharma Krabli Yezer? The Tanya. The Yezer Oimer. Shvur Shloi Oichel Kikar Zu. He's the one that makes a distinction between Zu and a lie. If he asked, if, if I say I'm not going to eat this specific loaf, Ma'arvin Loba, but Kikar Zu a lie, it's going to be on me, a personal Isra, and Ma'arvin Loba. So Ravuna holds like Rabbi Yezer. When the Yom Rabbi Yezer Hachi, did Rabbi Yezer learn like this? Vatanya, is that klal? Adam oyser atzma ba'oich. A person can prohibit himself from eating if it makes the iser on himself, like on the gavra, but not the heftza of the item becomes asr ma'arvin lo You can use this slow for an eru because other people can eat it. However, oichel an eser lo adam. but if he makes the food prohibited, like he makes the iser and the heftza, ain't ma'arvin lo Then, of course, nobody can eat it, and if we can't use it as an eru. But Rabbi Yezer Omer Kikar Zualai Ma'arvin Loba. Even Kikar Zualai, you can make an Eru. However, Kikar Zu Hegdish, Ein Ma'arvin Loba. Lefish Ein Ma'arvin Loba Hegdishos. So you see, in, even in Rabbi Yezer, there seems to be two versions. When it says, yes, Trey Tanoi, I'll leave it to Rabbi Yezer. The, there were two Tanoi arguing what Rabbi Yezer held. Then the Mishnah said, Ma'arvin Lo Nazar Vayayim. You can make a Eruv for a Nazir who's prohibited to drink wine. You can make an Eruv with the wine because other people can drink it. Our mission is not like Beishamai. Beishamai says very clearly that even though a Nazir can't drink wine, Yisrael cannot eat truma, you can make an air for that person because other people can eat it. On Yom Kippur, you also cannot go be chutzatchum. Now, you can put an air down for an adult on Yom Kippur, even though he himself can't eat it, but a child can eat it. Somebody who's uh, you know, not a barchil for Yom Kippur. So don't you agree to me, Beishamai, that they're allowed to make an Eru? Amrlan Aval, Beishamai says, no, they can't make an Eru because they can't eat it. Amrlan, Kishem Shemarvin, the God of Yom Kippur, in the Beishil says, no. Just like you can make an Eruv for a God of Yom Kippur, came out of the Nazar Biyan and Yisrael Betruma. Uve Shammai. How come Be Shammai argue? Hasam, Ikes Suda Ru'u Yimibod Yom. Because there, when do you lay down an Eruv? You laid it down, Be'na Shmoshris, or right before the Yom Tiv. At that point, there's food that could be eaten. So even on Yom Kippur, it was a Suda Ru'u Yimibod Yom. Hachla, here the Nazar can never drink the wine. Like a su'ud aruim, yom. He can't drink it, Erev, you know, Erev Shabbos. Now, Keman, who is this light? The Loka Chananya. The Tanya, Chananya Oimer. Kolatzman shal Beishamai, lo hayu moidin be'eruv. In fact, Beishamai had a whole different shita. It wasn't enough to just put some food down. You had to bring your bed, your clothing, everything you were going to use. On Shabbos, according to Beishamah, you had to put at the Mokam of the Eruv. So, so who is the following Brisa like? Let's say you use black clothing at the place. He was wearing black clothing and he sat again at the place 2,000 amas from, from where his house was. They went back home. Lo yetze He cannot, when he, on Shabbos, go out 
when he wants to walk chutz l'tchum wearing white clothing, because it's very specific. He can only make an eruv with what he brought to that place. And since he was wearing black clothing and not white clothing, he can't wear white clothing. Similarly, bilavonim lo yetsa b'shchon. Kiman, arm of nach reyezu. Kechanania yoli b'veishama. Because he said, Kananya, in understanding Beishamah, he said, Beishamah does not allow making an Erev unless you brought all your, everything you're going to use that shop is there. <laughs> so what, if you went to the Mokoma Eruv from Erev Shabbos wearing white, then we said, you can't go out with black, but with white, you could. If he walked home with the white clothing, he didn't have the white clothing there. Right? You can't even go out with his white clothing. So more says, He made an Eruv with white clothing. He needed black. He can't go out with anything. And that's like Kananya. Keman on Rav Nachma Yisra Kananya Yivali B'Veisha. Sumchus Omar Bechul. Sumchus said you cannot make an air with Truma, a Yisrael. You have to do it. You have to use Chulam. But you notice he didn't argue by the Nazir. Ilo the Nazir by Yain Lo Poli. Why did he only argue by Truma, not by Yain? My time, huh? After the Mitchell on Zirusa. You know, if you're a, naz- a Nazir, you made a nether. You can always go to a Chacham and have the nether removed. So, he, and that's why he had no problem with the Nazir Bayai. You can also go to an, a Chacham and said, listen, I declared this to be Truma, I want to undo it. But Gemara says that's not an answer because if he gets a Chacham to undo his statement regarding Truma, at best, the grain becomes Tevna. You still can't eat Tevna. So either way, you need Chulun. Freak the Gemara, but that's not a problem. Let him give from other produce that he has. Let him say, oh, that'll be the Truma for this food. The mercy is lo nechshu to chaverim litrom shalom na mokif. Chaverim always gave truma. The food had to be next to them. They didn't do it from distant. That way, they could say that they could make sure that it was the same kind of food. Vilif for shalem in which means if you have a big loaf of challah, you could say, "Oh, I want the corner of that loaf." to be the truma, and the rest, and I won't eat it, and the rest will be okay. So what's wrong? Then why did Sumchus say it has to be chulen? The last base shiura, you didn't have enough of a shear. That means if you would have made part of a truma, it would be less than a Muslim stay sudas. Umay paska, why were you forced to say that it's this unusual case that it's exactly the amount of two sudas, and if you designate some of it to be truma, it'll be less. That's a pretty forced case. Ella, Sumchus Sovalak Rabbanon. Sumchus had a different shita. He held like the Chachan, in the Ami, called Dover Shum Mishum Shvus, Gazra Lavbena Shmashes. Now, we are not allowed to separate Trumas and Maishas on Shabbos, but that's only Xerim and Rabbanon. Yet, like anything that was also Mishum Shvus, you weren't allowed to do Ben Hashmoshes as well. And since you laid down your air of Ben Hashmoshes, you wouldn't be able to be Mafra's Truma at that period of time. So, Kimanaz Lo Hadisnan, who is the following Mishnah like? Yesh she'onru, ha'kolofi mashuhu adam. There are those that say that shi'urim of halacha apply 
there aren't any general shiurim, like kazayas. But each shiur goes according to the individual person. So for example, melokumtso mincha. It says by a mincha you have to do, you have to fill up your hand and do kmitza. So some guy may have a larger hand, some guy may have a smaller hand. So we do it individually. Umalochaf nov Taurus. Same thing, the coin Godel had to have a certain, uh, certain amount of Taurus based on his hand. You're a cheek full of liquid. That's the, the shear for being chayiv on Yom Kippur. Now, Og Melech is going to have a much bigger cheek than a regular person. Now, what one person needs for two pseudos is different than what another person needs. But See, Sumchas who says that a Yisrael has to, cannot use Tuma, has to use Hulin, is going, perhaps is going like this, it has to be Roy for that person. And therefore, Lema Pliget Rab Shem Ben Elazar. This is of Machlok is Rab Shem Ben Elazar. The time Rab Shem Ben Elazar Oimim Arvin Lachoy Lo Zokin Kadeim Zono V'Lar Basim Besude Beinu Nishakol Adam. But we said, let's say you have a glutton, some guy who eats nonstop. You don't have to give him a major meal. He, you put down for an eruv, a regular middle, uh, you know, middle of the road meal, which is not like Sumchus. So Gemara says no. Tirgem Achoy Lo Zokin. Perhaps. The shear only that we're talking about that we're concerned about is Khoil of Zakin. That's a, which is for his individual needs. The the concept of Ravasan is not so because but the Daite it's a kolodum. We have a uh, we're we're machmir, we're not machmir on the guy to uh, make it more stringent for him because he tends to eat a lot. Then we said a coin base of a a coin in put down his Eruv in a Besa Pras, which was a field where a corpse was, but we're concerned that maybe it ground up, grounded it up by plowing. It's all a suffix that maybe there's bones there. <coughs> so there's no tumma of oil because there's no meat there. It's only bones. If there's a big bone, he can see it. If it's a small bone, he can blow it away before he walks there. So this was all methods of how the coin could get to the Eruv in the Besa Pras. He can blow if he sees a small bone. That if you have a Besa Pras that many people have walked through, it's completely tall. You don't have to do any blowing because they must have crushed everything and it's all gone. And then in the Mishra, Rabbi Yudah, I'm Rav Beisach Kvaros. Rabbi Yudah said you could put the air in the middle of the cemetery. Why? Because you could carry the coin in a box. And it's an ohel. And the ohel protects him from Tumah. And he could get to the food. They could put him into a box and carry him. Carry him there. Kosavar, oil zork shmei oil. Now, there's a basic halachic question, is a moving ohel considered an ohel and, and serve as a chatzitza against tumma? It's based on the farm Now, any land outside of Eretz Yisrael, Chachamim made exer that it's tummy. Now, let's say somebody was taken out, like in a carriage, which is a, you're like in a box. You went into Syria in a carriage. Rebbe says that a moving ohel is not an ohel and doesn't protect you from tumah. What is the yesod of the machlokas? Marisov, Rebbe says, oils are lav oil. And therefore it's not considered uh, a chatzitza between the koyen and the tumah. Umar Sabar, oil zork shmei oil, a moving oil is considered an oil. Period. Okay, we'll stop here. Uh, tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem.